everyone welcome back to my channel I am back again with another video with Deepavali around the corner uh, I thought I'll do a very easy smoky eye that you can you know uh, do on yourself for to match any kind of outfit any color outfit very beautiful and easy glam look so I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and let's begin the first thing I'm going to use is a Alua Mist. This is the MAC Prolong Wear um, Paint Pot in Laying Low. This is just going to be my base colour because I do have very watery eyes and also oily eyelids. So I need something that would help with the, you know, creasing. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this under the eye uh, eyelid here so okay now the base is done so the next product I'm going to be using is this um, makeup forever aqua aquamatic <laughs> um, eye pencil uh, this is very similar to an, a, a regular cold pencil so I am going to line my eyes so this is going to be the base color this product really sets very quickly so I am going to quickly blend before it sets and becomes difficult to work with later. So if you find that this product is a bit difficult to work with, just go with a regular, you know, um, creamy cold pencil that works fine too in case you're wondering this is a tapered brush from Sigma so I'm gonna do the same for the other eye so the next product I'm going to be using for my lower lash line is the uh, Makeup Forever Aqu Aquamatic um, Glide On eyeshadow uh, pencil and this is like in a brown shade so I'm just going to apply this on the lower lashes I do not want to apply the black on the lower uh, lashes just yet um, because I I don't want it to look too um, I don't want it to start creasing so we will build up the color as we go so I'm using the same crease uh, tapered crease brush here I'm just going to quickly blend this out. From my Laura Pro palette, I am going to take taupe. This is a nice mid brown shade and I am going to use this to blend the uh, black eyeshadow or just put it over the crease and blend it out. Now this will serve as a nice transition for the colors that I am going to be putting on. I'm going to do the same for the lower lashes. Next, I'm taking a um, flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going in with the matte black shade over here. I'm going to apply it where I have the black gold pencil. Next, I'm going to be using Amber Lights from MAC. I'm going to apply this onto the center of the eye. Yeah, like so. So for my highlight, I'm going in with the cream uh, eyeshadow. So I personally do not like anything shimmery over my, you know, eyebrow bone area. I think it kind of ages a person when you apply too much shimmer over there. Um, I'm not as young as I used to be, so yeah, I'm a bit careful when I when it comes to um, 
you know shimmery colors but if you like that then just go ahead and do it I mean you can always apply a little bit and then you know just go blending it out and it might work but for me I don't like it eyebrows I am going in with the Kiko colored mascara this is in the shade number five Today my eyebrows are not behaving so I am going to go in with the Low Lights um, MAC Pro Long Wear Fluid Line. Um, so this is the colour. So I'm using a regular cold pencil and lining my upper and lower lash line. Next, I'm going to line my eyes with the Inglot Black Liner in the number 77. This is my favorite eyeliner. It doesn't budge. It's, if you find the eyeliner a little too dry to work with, uh, just put a drop of the Dura line from Inglot. It works beautifully. And this is really one of my favorite. And if you have oily eyelids like me, this is probably the best product you could um, really use on your eyes. This is the Makeup Forever Cream Camouflage Palette. I am going in with the Salmon color for the areas where I have a bit of darkness. So I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender. To apply this, especially underneath my eye area because that's where I have a bit of, you know, darkness or discoloration. Going in around the nose area. With the same salmon color and brown my chin. So the next thing I'm going to use is my concealer and this is from NARS. Uh, I am in the shade medium to caramel. I really like this because it gives a very nice uh, brightening effect and it's very light. Um, light as in it's not heavy coverage. So I don't necessarily need that right now but uh, I like the texture and the consistency of the uh, concealer. So again just using the same sponge, damp sponge, I'm just going to quickly apply this underneath the eye. As for my foundation, I am using the Makeup Forever foundation. I, I believe the newer shade is uh, 4, 5 something. I have the one uh, in the shade 173 and uh, I really like this because it just gives that pixelized finish. It gives that very beautiful, uh, poreless, smooth skin. Especially if you're going to take pictures. I mean, if you are in a function, you will be taking lots of selfies and pictures with your family and friends. So I think it's important to use the right foundation for it. Next, I'm going in with this darker concealer. This is going to be used as, um, you know, contour color for the sides of my cheek so that it doesn't just look flat. So I'm just going to use the tip of the sponge. And apply this just along the, you know, the groove of my <laughs> uh, jawline here. Well, not exactly the jaw, but my cheek. Also here, just going over the circumference of my face here with that uh, and a tiny bit around my nose. Here. Okay, so I still have a bit of darkness around here, uh, especially the blemishes. So I am going to use this uh, shade over here. 
I believe it's NC42 um, cream concealer. I'm just going to dab, 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 dab. See? It's gone. Okay, before I continue applying my you know, blusher and things like that, I'm just going to set my face with a powder. So, so as my setting powder, I am using these two shades. One is Ben Nye Banana Powder and the other one is called Beige Sweet. Uh, the Ben Nye Banana Powder is just overly yellow. <laughs> Since I have much going on here, I want to tone it down with a little dash of the Beige Sweet. And this really works fine if you are my uh, skin tone. So here I have a container where I mix my powders. And I'm just going to quickly mix just a tiny bit. Now it's all mixed. Just going in with a powder puff. And I'm going to fix the foundation and concealer. I'm quickly going to apply my mascara, false lashes, and I will come back to finish the rest of the face. Now I am done with my eye makeup. I am going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. So as for my blusher, I am going in with the shade Mocha. This is a beautiful shade for our skin tone, so and also it's not overwhelmingly too colorful. So you can pair it up with any other uh, highlighter or lipstick shade that you'd like to use. I'm just going to... As for my highlight, I am going back with uh, Amber Lights. So this is the shade that we use for the eye. So for my lips, I am going in with Deep Purple from NYX. So as for my lip color, I'm using the Lime Crime Velvetin. Uh, it's in the shade Red Velvet. I'm going to use a lip brush to apply this. I'm going to put on my accessories now. 